given that transport represents the largest source of carbon pollution in the US, around 30% of greenhouse gas emissions and other pollutants, two thirds of that is down to the use of, of personal vehicles. And I think these new policies and investments can help ensure that everyone benefits from the transition to a more equitable, low carbon transportation. So the, the infrastructure bill, you know, investing in a new vision for the Environment and Surface Transportation in America Act is important and it includes specific mention of bolstering electric vehicles and the charging infrastructure. And I think we're already seeing the auto companies respond very positively here. Consumers too, uh, worldwide sales of electric vehicles grew by 40% in 2020 compared to 2019, albeit it's still just 4% of the world market. And so adding this health and equity lens to what we're doing in making these investments under the infrastructure bill and then enacting that through the reconciliation bill will really help.